It's Bonnie. Happy Saturday. Is it too early for my witch hat? Is it really? I think it is. <laughs> I just had that on for the photo. Now my hair is all crazy. Oh my goodness, you guys. So I wanted to do a part one of Bath and Body Works Halloween because this year is absolutely epic. I mean, 69 products for Halloween that I counted. I think I'm pretty accurate in my count. Believe it or not, I have most of the stuff sitting in front of me. And then um, the larger pedestals I have off on a buffet to the side. I'll probably just uh, bring my camera over there. We'll do the pedestals last. So I'm trying to get all of the products in the 2021 Bath and Body Works Halloween collection, and I'm doing pretty good so far. I have most of them, I think. <laughs> I don't even know. It's, it, there could be more coming out. So we're going to go through everything, kind of check me, see if I did everything right. If you know something else that's coming out, uh, definitely let me know, um, because this year is really exciting. I mean, it's only what, August 7th. So far, we've got products selling out. I'm gonna go over what's currently on the website, what I found recently. Um, we've got um, products that are being sold on Macari and eBay for an exorbitant amount of money. So I feel like this year has just been really over the top crazy with Halloween. So I actually have a couple different um, cheat sheets over here that I created for myself. So right now on the Bath and Body Works website for Halloween, oh my gosh, I just had it up you guys, there it is. Um, there are currently 46 items available. So a decent amount, considering if my number is correct, and there's actually 69 uh, products total. So not too bad. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to start with are the single wick candles. So there are four single wick candles uh, in the collection this year, which is a lot. Usually we only get um, like two. Previous years we've got none. Uh, so the two um, we've got here, we've got the uh, Wicked Apple and we've got Pumpkin Carving, which have the holographic labels. I like these both. Um, pumpkin carving is definitely a nice, uh, rich, brown, sugary uh, pumpkin. I'm just going to start setting stuff over here. <laughs> and then, of course, we have Wicked Apple with the ghosts. So there's a couple different themes running through this year's Bath & Body Works Halloween collection. Um, we've got a haunted conservatory type theme. We have got a ghost theme, we've got a Victorian theme, um, and then we've got kind of this fortune teller theme going on. So I'm gonna go through these a little bit. Uh, so this one kind of matches uh, some of the ghost products. So that is a uh, Wicked Apple with the Caramel Apple. And then we got Vampire Blood and Ghoul Friend. Let me get these positioned correctly. How awesome are these? So we've got the male and the female skeletons here, and um, they face each other, which is really cute. Um, really nice jar styles. There's kind of like a wallpaper uh, texture on here that I think everyone's gonna like. So there are four single wicks. Let me just, um, <laughs> my problem is setting everything aside. Okay, so four single wicks. So far, we have five three wicks. I don't know. Is Bath & Body Works going to give us some surprises later? Who knows? Because last year they gave us two versions of Vampire Blood, uh, Ghoul Friend, and Hot Cocoa. Not Ghoul Friend. Uh, Vampire Blood, um, Hot Cocoa and Scream, and Perfect Pumpkin. So we shall see if we get anything else later. So, so far the five candles are Pumpkin Carving. Um, there's three candles in this really neat, it's like a haunted wallpaper oh my gosh i absolutely love these designs oh, pumpkin carving i gotta get another one of these out of this world wonderful so this is pumpkin carving 
Then we have Wicked Apple. They all have a really nice spider web lid that comes with them, which is a nice upgrade. Um, so Wicked Apple with the ghost in the green. I still have to review for you guys um, Haunted Nights. This one is very sagey. Not sure I like the scent, but I love uh, the jar. So those are kind of this like haunted wallpaper style. Um, and then we've got Ghoul Friend. And we have Vampire Blood that have kind of like this um, fortune teller kind of design. I'm wondering if we're going to get a third one. I'm wondering if we're going to get Perfect Pumpkin in this design. It could happen. Who knows? Um, but check these out. These are gorgeous. Uh, Ghoul Friend has, um, oops, let me go. Ghoul Friend has the pink wax. And... The Vampire Blood has the red wax. I will review Ghoul Friend. I haven't even reviewed Ghoul Friend this year. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, so let me set these aside. So those are the candles. So, so far we have nine Halloween candles. Um, we do have Vampire Blood in the room spray. I have misplaced mine. <laughs> I don't know where my Vampire Blood room spray is. I gotta find it or buy another one. It's around here somewhere. That was the one thing um, that I misplaced. <laughs> We have eight wallflower units this year, along with three um, Halloween wallflower plugins. Let me grab these. I actually have these right now sitting in my <laughs> in my candle holder here. So we have Ghoul Friend. These match the fortune teller type of style on the candles. We have Wicked Apple, and we have Vampire Blood. Now the Wicked Apple is actually the same design a little bit as it's kind of a, a hybrid of both style candles there's the ghost but then there's kind of got that like fortune teller look to it i like that we have the labels on those um the wallflowers so the actual let me grab these the plugins we have eight of them we have oh my gosh this is so cute you guys all know i have a chihuahua coco she's sleeping over on the chair um so we've got the vampire chihuahua pup Super cute. Um, this one is a light up. We have got a sugar skull. I think that's a light up. I don't have that one. I don't know. If it, it might not be a light up. I got to check on that. You know, I can look. I I have everything right here in front of me. Um, let me see if that's a light up. Uh, it's a night light. That is a light up. Good to know. <laughs> um, the sugar skull. Then we have um, the haunted house conservatory. We have three that are projectors. So we have the Haunted House Conservatory that looks like this. It projects a pink um, circle with bats in it. And then we also have um, the Candelabra light up, which I still need to review this one. These are $32.50 for the Candelabra. And I believe the Conservatory is $34.50. And then they brought last year's uh, projector back, which is that um, that haunted house. I had one. I actually gifted it away last year. Um, I want to get another one this year. We also have um, a theme going through. There's a black bat with purple wings that's flowing through the Halloween. <laughs> it's on... Um, is there a bat on here? I don't know. But the purple and the silver is kind of a theme going on, but there's more products with the bat with the purple wings, including, this is actually not a light up though. Um, so we've got the black bat. We have the ghost. I will put, I saw the ghost. I should have bought it that day because of course my store doesn't have them. Take your own advice, Bonnie. Buy things when you see them. I'm like, I'll get it later. So there is a, a light up ghost. I got to get that. That might be, is that a line? It is online. Did I order that today? I did. I think I did order that today, you guys. I think I have that one coming. Yes, you know what? I, <laughs> oh my goodness. I highlighted it in yellow, which means I ordered it. Good good, good to know. <laughs> As I'm talking to myself here. Um, and then we're supposed to be getting a fortune teller crystal ball. I've kind of seen that floating around out there. That is coming. There's also a furry bat in the car fragrance um, clip that looks like this. It's got like a fuzzy, fuzzy black bat. Super cute. I want to get that. Pocket back holders. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, let me move my trick-or-treat bag. Pocket back holders. We have six of them. 
One of them is kind of fall, but I included it in Halloween. So we have the light up. Um, actually, is this a light up? This isn't a light up. This is talking, I think. I'm not sure. Does this light up or does it just talk? I think it just talks. Um, I think this glows in the dark, too. I'm not sure. Um, so we have the ghost cat. Um, super cute that talks. We have two lanyards this year. We have um, the bat bestie lights up and glows in the dark. What happens is the wings light up. Uh, you can kind of see there, they're flashing. So this one is super cute. And these are lanyards with the reflective uh, tape on them. I love those. And then we also have this one that's got a reflective uh, lanyard and um, a light up pumpkin. So that's cute too. And it's a lace pattern, which is actually cuter in person. I actually do like this one. And then we have um, two of the kind of inexpensive ones. These are $5.95 and $3.95. The little um, candy corn is $3.95. And then um, there's like this spider with a velvet cover. And then the final one, I don't know if this is actually Halloween. It's like a little mug with, I think this is Halloween because it looks like a jack-o'-lantern. Um, it's like a mug of coffee or something. So we have those. <laughs> then we have pocket back holders. Oh, hand sanitizers. Three hand sanitizers so far. Um, I'm kind of surprised that we don't have five of these. Maybe we'll get more. Wicked apple, which I don't smell any caramel in. Um, I'm just smelling the um, the tart apple. And then, of course, we have Vampire Blood and Girlfriend. These match that kind of fortune teller uh, style. And then we got, oh my gosh, this is awesome. This is the antibacterial hand spray. I love this. I love the color. The red is absolutely beautiful. This is a really neat product. I'm so glad we got this in the Vampire Blood. So we got that. Next up, okay, the pedestals. I'm going to talk about those at the end candle holders. These are not the pedestals. These are just the standard candle holders. We have a dancing ghosts. This is a glow in the dark. I figured out. I put it up to my light. I went in the bathroom. It glows. Super cute. Um, dancing ghosts. We have a, I just found this yesterday. Um, the skulls. This one is actually really neat. This is $15.95. And the ghost is $12.95. So I'm really liking this one a lot. And then we have um, the spider. I really love the spider. Um, this one is $15.95 also. I've got my uh, wallflower uh, bulbs in here. But look at this. This is all like diamonds, um, like rhinestones, fake diamonds. And then there's a really cool uh, spider on here. So three candle holders. Um, then we have soap holders. I actually only have two of the soap holders. I do want to get the gold skull at some point. Like I said, we're going to do a whole big Halloween party in October because who knows, they might bring some stuff back. You never know. Or more stuff, not stuff back. <laughs> we might get more stuff. <laughs> so check this out. This is one of the soap holders. Love this one with the, uh, the purple bat wings. Let me set this one. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of space, you guys. Set that one down. And then we have this one, which is just the black and orange uh, pumpkins. There's also the glow-in-the-dark ghost that matches this and the gold skull. Um, I think I have a picture on Instagram somewhere. I'll try and pull that. Really shiny. I mean, this thing is just, like, brilliantly shiny. Um, so then we also have a trick-or-treat bag. Check this out. These are kind of one-offs. There is a black cat which the eyes glow in the dark green this is one of the um the hangers check that out super cute and then there's also a trick-or-treat gift set out there that has vampire blood in the uh the soap the pocket back and there's a fragrance free uh hand cream in there which is kind of interesting we do not have any hand cream for halloween this year which is kind of interesting to me um, but, oh my gosh, look at all these. I, this is full of pocket bags. It's <laughs> got all my pocket bags stored in here. I think this is glow in the dark, though. I think the bats, I'm not sure. I gotta find out. I, I'll, I'll, I'll report on this later. I can't remember if that's glow in the dark. Um, but those are kind of the one-off things. Body care. So we got body care this year for Halloween. We're all super, oh, you know what? I just found my, 
<laughs> I just found my concentrated room spray of vampire blood. I'm going to spray a little bit of this little atmosphere going on. Oh, boy, that smells good. Okay. It was right on my desk. <laughs> Halloween body care this year, you guys. So the first thing that we saw this year were the minis in the vampire blood. We got the shower gel, check it out, in the black bottle. And then we got the body lotion in the white bottle. I love these. Vampire blood makes a fabulous um, body care. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, this is gorgeous. This kind of matches that whole purple motif going on. Uh, this is the diamond shimmer spray. Oh my gosh, I, you know how much I love the diamond shimmer mist. Absolutely love these. And it's vampire blood and it's purple. These would make really cute gifts for Halloween. Um, hopefully this stuff stays in stock. We also got in this neat purple motif, um, we got a happy Halloween spooky berry bath bomb. I'm going to demo one of these out for you guys with the ghosts. And then we got the spooky berry in the lip balm. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. This is so cool. Oh, this tastes amazing too. I love spooky berry. <laughs> spooky berry and vampire blood all over the place. And then we got the body care. Oh my gosh, you guys. Wicked Vanilla Woods. The shower gel is actually a two-in-one body wash bubble bath. I did a review on this. It's fabulous. It is uh, Magical Vanilla Glowing Amberwood Enchanted Pink Pepper. They made it glow pink, you guys. Oh my gosh. It's like a pink um, holographic. It's absolutely like gorgeous, out of this world, beautiful. Um, I thought this was a diamond shimmer mist based on the photos. It is not. It is clear. Um, but Wicked Vanilla Woods, to me, is like a cousin to Into the Night or Dark Kiss. I love it. I've been wearing this a lot. It's fabulous. I also am getting the cream. The cream is not here yet. So that is coming. Next up, soap. Um, total of nine Halloween soaps this year. We got six foaming versions and we got three in the gentle hand soap, which I don't think we've ever had before. So in the fortune teller collection, we got ghoul friend, vampire blood and perfect pumpkin, which is interesting because perfect pumpkin is usually a candle as we all know, but we got it in a soap. I was kind of surprised they didn't do pumpkin carving as the soap, but they went with um, the perfect pumpkin, which is um, carved pumpkin, spooky cinnamon, and moonlight vanilla. And it does smell um, like sweet cinnamon pumpkin. So that that's kind of interesting. And then the wicked apple is actually um, ghostly green apple, creepy caramel, drizzle, and vicious uh, vanilla bean. I don't smell as much as the caramel in this one, though, as I do in the candle. I like the candle a lot better um, than the soap and like the pocket bag. We also got two extras. Um, we got Happy Halloween, which is a candy corn marshmallow in the holographic label. And then we got Sugared Spell, which is a fabulous lemon scent. Oh my gosh, so many people really like this one. But you know what? I'm not seeing it online anymore. Um, I got my cheat sheet up here, my online. I, I'm not seeing it. What the heck? Which is kind of unfortunate if we have a sub sale at some point. And we can't get that online. Oops, it's sliding all over the place, you guys. Okay. So that leaves us with the three. Check it out. We have three of the gentle hand soaps. For some reason, they didn't include the perfect pumpkin in this collection. But we have the Wicked Apple in this awesome, cool, like haunted wallpaper. Um, Vampire Blood, which I think is really, really neat looking. And then Ghoul Friend, um, these are dye-free and paraben-free. So this is a clear formula. Only um, the bottle has uh, that brilliant um, shade of uh, pink. Oops. I'm throwing things. Pink, red, and um, green. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, most exciting part are these giant, oh my gosh, I got to grab these, um, the giant pedestals that everyone is trying to get their hands on. 
these are the things that are going for a ridiculous amount of money on Macari that everyone's looking for. So early on, I was able to get my hands on the Monster. Love this thing. I actually do think I'm going to bring um, these pieces in here. I'm just going to stop the video and go grab some because uh, the lighting is better. But check it out. This is the Monster. This is very hard to get a hold of now. Um, I haven't seen this one in stores. I got this early on. Uh, I think this one was 59. It's got a light up um, green element. You could put candy in here. It'd be really neat if you put dry ice in here somehow. And it was like <laughs> going off for Halloween. Um, but it is the pedestal. You put the candle up here and it's got those cute little eyes. I'm hoping they restock these because this is a, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, piece um i like it because it kind of does fit in with the whole like dracula castle kind of spooky haunted house um and the whole haunted conservatory which that brings us to the luminary i talked about that a lot yesterday i'm gonna put my screenshot up i found it in the store i snapped a picture of it that's a, <laughs> i didn't buy it <laughs> but 250 dollars for the giant um haunted conservatory which actually um, style-wise looks a lot like this. So I think the monster maybe goes inside like the Haunted Conservatory. I don't know. It's got like that theme going on, uh, which is kind of cute. The, the butler, the maid, and the witch. <laughs> I don't know what these things are actually called. I've heard, I've, I've heard, seen them called like um, the gentleman and the madam. I've seen them called the butler and the maid, headless pedestals. So basically what they did, these are heavy, by the way. I've got the, the maid or the female one coming. They're super classy. I love these. They're very heavy. Um, these are $49. I got one of these yesterday. They're starting to show up more in my store. My store had like seven of them yesterday, which I think they had one male and like six females. I got the male one because I have the, the maid coming and everyone's like, you should have just bought it, then returned it, which that's really smart because I know if mine comes broken, I'm going to scream. <laughs> I'm still looking for the hand. That seems the hardest to find right now. I'm still getting up at six o'clock every morning. Um, it's kind of a fun challenge to find these pieces though. I'm enjoying the process. It's like a, it's like a scavenger hunt. So I was really thrilled um, to add this one to my collection. It looks really nice, by the way, um, with the candle on top. Look at this, how beautiful it looks when you put the candle. You can really see um, the detail on this. So this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Then, I think, is this online right now? Um, I'm not sure if this is called the Tilted Pedestal, the Wonky Pedestal. Um, it has a couple of names. I heard one person say that they saw it with a black base, um, but mine actually um, is like a gunmetal green that kind of matches the monster, which is interesting. Um, I did have a little uh, gold piece uh, break off here in shipping. Bath and Body Works is sending me um, a couple of other things to make up for that. Uh, so that was good. But this, what happens is you put, oops, my soap just fell. Oops. <laughs> My soap falls on my keyboard. That was not that was not a disaster. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. It's gorgeous in person. I absolutely love how this looks. Absolutely wonderful. So next pieces I was able to get my hands on are the Crystal Skull, which is a lot bigger in person. They shipped this so nicely. It was in its own box with styrofoam. Um, it does light up all these awesome different um, colors. So this was super exciting uh, for me to get my hands on this. And then you can put the candle on top. Looks super creepy and neat um, for Halloween. And then we've got the globe. This is actually the first piece I bought this year. Check this out. My store had one of these really early. Um... It's got kind of like a little cemetery, spooky tree in there. And then they've got um, the ghost theme again, where the ghosts are flying um, through this. It's really pretty in person. I have to say, I am so happy um, I got this one. So what I am doing is I'm creating like um, this really neat, like spooky... Um, 
setup in my dining room, which needs help. Like I, right now I'm just storing this stuff in there. But um, when I do my big reveal in like October, I'm going to show you exactly how I'm displaying everything. I'm playing, maybe I'll do it like the end of September. This video is going to be like super fun. I'm going to film it in my dining room with the whole display up. So I can't wait to do that. But I wanted to do this video today to, to number one, give you like an idea of how big the Bath and Body Works Halloween collection is because it is huge, absolutely enormous that they have 69 products. Um, like I said, if I'm missing anything, uh, definitely let me know. I could have forgotten one or two pieces here. Um, and then, like I said, sometimes Bath and Body Works will bring out um, more stuff you don't know. So who knows? Cross your fingers, we get even more. Um, so far, my favorite pieces are those headless pedestals. Um, I hope I put my monster back in there. The monster is gorgeous. If you can get your hands on the monster, I highly recommend that monster. It is so much um, cuter in person. I kind of debated when I saw it online. I'm like, I don't know if I want that. But then when I saw it in person, I'm like, I have to have this thing. It was wonderful. Um, the candles, everything. I'm loving all the decor. I'm loving the body care. Um, I can't say enough about how much I am enjoying this entire Halloween collection. So let me know your favorite pieces. Let me know what you guys are looking for. Like I said, I'm still on the hunt for the witch hand. Um, you know, a couple more wallflower plugs. I'll probably buy duplicates of some of the body care. Um, I don't know. I just, there's, <laughs> there's so much to do and it's only August 7th. Did I say August 6th earlier? I seem to remember saying something about August 6th. It's August 7th. <laughs> it's a little ways from Halloween, but as you all know, I'm a huge fan of Halloween. I get so excited for all the decor, all of the fun. So the entire fall season, we're going to be doing fall. We're going to be doing Halloween. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. I'm going to try and do um, some crafty stuff. I'll have some other companies mixed in with their Halloween stuff. I'm just excited. This is going to be a really fun Halloween. So anyway, thank you as always for hanging out with me. If you're brand new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we got a lot. We got a lot going on now. <laughs> And let me know what you're still looking for in the Bath & Body Works Halloween collection. I'm really curious. Have an awesome Saturday. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.